Now let's have a look at this example. The absolute value of 2x minus 1 is less than 5. So what we have is this absolute value is less than 5 and that means we can write this as 2x minus 1 is less than 5. It says less than here so we have to write and and we have minus 2x minus 1 is less than 5. So this means if I solve this for x, the first inequality, I get 2x is less than 6 and for the second inequality I get minus 2x plus 1 is less than 5. And that means that x is less than 3 and minus 2x is less than 4. So x is still less than 3 and x is greater than negative 2 because we are dividing by a negative number we have to change from less than to greater than. Now let's visualize this, let's see what's really happening here. If this is 3 and this is negative 2 then the first inequality says that x is less than 3 so that would be this. If x is greater than negative 2 we get that. And in between these two we have and, that means both have to be fulfilled at the same time for our solution and the only overlapping bit is the bit between negative 2 and 3 excluding negative 2 and 3. So that means that our solution x is in this open interval from negative 2 to 3 or I can write it as negative 2 is less than x is less than 3.